Morning, Dad. Hi, honey. Mm. How was your walk? Only to the end of the driveway. You know, I will never understand why this delivery boy insists on throwing the paper everywhere except the front door. How about some coffee? Wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Is this a new robe? As a matter of fact. Do you like it? Yes, very much. Hello? You're speaking. Stan. No, no, it's not too early to call us. We're all up at the crack of dawn around here. Really? I didn't think those nominations came out for weeks and weeks. How many? Really? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Dan. And thanks for letting me know. Good news, obviously. The L.A. Area Fashion Awards are in January, and Forrester has five nominations. Five? Dad, that's fabulous. More importantly, the black bias cut that you did for the spring line is one of the nominations. You're kidding. <laughs> no. I can't believe it. Can I tell you, Kristen, how proud this makes me of you? Daddy, let's be honest. Margot deserves most of the credit for that one. Don't sell yourself short. You have your own individual special touch at Forrester. You really think so? No doubt about it. I'm so happy. I'm so excited for you. Can we all go to the awards banquet? Yes, the whole Forrester clan. You know, this is the first time you've been home for it. And can I sit next to you? Yes, I've always thought it was very good form for the nominees to sit together. Fascinating case. I just wish I had more input in the courtroom. Seems all I'm good for around there lately is research. Right. Honey, I'm sure that's just because you knew. Oh, sure. The clerks always get the bottom of the barrel. Once I know whether I pass the bar. When do you get the results? Should be next month. <gasps> what a day that will be. Oh, sorry, did I miss something? We were talking about Storm passing the bar. Uh. Beth, something on your mind? Am I that transparent? Only to those who love you. What is it, Mom? I went to Donna's yesterday. Is she all right? I'm not sure. What's going on? Well, she seemed very preoccupied, and she was obviously upset by something. Did she tell you what No. Or why? No, I asked her, and all I got were a lot of excuses about how busy they were with their, their classes and their jobs. Well, she is carrying a heavy load. It's more than that. I don't know why. I just... I got the feeling that Donna may be pregnant. Pregnant? Oh, dear Lord, no. Mom, are you sure? No, I'm not sure of anything. Do you want me to go over there and talk to her? Oh, honey. I don't think she wants to talk to any of us right now. I just pray to God it's not true. She's so young. Both are.
morning. You just missed Kristen. She's gone upstairs to change. Did I hear the phone ring earlier? Yes, yeah, Stan Goldman called. The L.A. Area Fashion Awards nominees have been announced. And? Forrester got five. That's wonderful. Congratulations. It's the most we've ever gotten. I am particularly pleased because one of Kristen's designs was named. She was here when the phone call came. She was thrilled. I can imagine. <laughs> of course, she's been working with Margot very closely, so Margot should deserve some of those laurels, too. Why are you so reluctant to give your daughter some credit? As it happens, she's made some very significant contributions. In the past few months, she's come up with some very innovative ideas. Good for Kristen. You're just never going to see through this, are you? What are you talking about? Kristen and the way she manipulates you. Stephanie. I'm getting sick and tired of this. This constant competition with your oldest daughter. You nearly drove her away once. Are you determined to do it again? It's always me, isn't it? It never occurs to you that it might not be my fault. Stephanie, you're her mother. And yet, not a day goes by that you don't find some way to deprecate Kristen. Either it's the way that she dresses, or it's her dating habits. Now you're belittling her work at Forrester. I'd like you to name me one other designer who's been in the business as short a time as six months who's been nominated. This isn't going to do any good, because you're just never going to face the situation for what it is. I'll never understand why you feel so threatened by your own daughter. No, you never will understand as long as she has you wrapped up around her little finger. This conversation is getting us no place. I'm late for work. And while the family continues to pull further and further apart, just ask yourself which one of us is taking sides. I thought you might like some breakfast in bed. You're kidding. Nope. Nothing is too good for my girl. So how'd you sleep? OK. Woke up a few times. Yeah, me too. I couldn't stop thinking. Still feel the same way? More than ever, Donna. I really want this baby. If there is a baby. I hope there is. I kept thinking about my family and how crummy it's always been. If I could have my own kid with someone I love as much as you, I'd have a chance to give it the kind of family I never had. And you would be such a great mom, Donna. You've grown up knowing how to be close to people. Any kid of yours is bound to have a head start. Not to mention a built-in family full of babysitters. Yeah. I guess once she got over the shock, Grandma would probably love it. And your mom. I'm not so sure about my mom. She'd love the baby. It's just if I know her, she's going to be pretty disappointed. She always wanted all us kids to finish college. But you can still do that. With a baby? And both of us trying to work? Mark, get real. Donna, come on, we can do it. You haven't changed your mind. You still want to go for it. No, Mark. I think I have changed my mind. Mother, I'm late. Have a nice day. Not so fast. Something bothering you, Mother? Let's not play games, especially after the routine that you worked on your father this morning. I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. And don't play innocent with me. Your father's already gone to work, and I'm not buying that act. So why don't we just try and be honest with one another? Fine. Just what's on your mind? I think you know. 
You and Daddy have a difficult morning? Oh, I'm sure you overheard. <laughs> Couldn't help but. You never grow up, do you? Meaning? Meaning the little number that you pulled on your father. You have virtually been doing that every day of your life since you were a little girl, trying to seduce your father. That's despicable! No. What you have done to me all of your life is despicable. You are sick if you think I'm trying to seduce my father. There are many forms of seduction, and they are not all sexual. It is perfectly normal and natural for a little girl to elicit a response from a father that she loves and adores. But most little girls grow out of it. You never have. That's not true. You're just jealous because Daddy and I have always understood each other, while you never could. At your age, you're too involved with your father. It's time to make your own life, to find your own man. All right, here we go again. Mother, I am sick of you interfering with my social life. Have you ever had a man in your life? No, and I'm going to tell you why. Because you want them to measure up to your father, and that's not fair to them. This is going to ruin you for years to come if you don't do something about this right now. Thanks, Mother. I can always count on you for good advice. Kristen. You never had my best interest at heart. Why should you start now? You blame me for the lack of communication between you and Daddy? Well, it's not my fault. It never has been. Daddy gets more love and affection and understanding from his daughter than from his wife. Whose fault is that? What do you mean you changed your mind? Sweetheart, think about it. I'm only 18 years old. You're not even 20. What are we talking about having a kid? We're just kids ourselves. But a lot of people our age have children. And look at their lives. Mark, we don't have any money. I'll get a second job. And go to school? Be realistic. Right now, the most important thing is for us to finish school. We're in no position to be parents. Donna, we could do it. Even if we could, it wouldn't be fair to our baby. What kind of life could we offer him? Especially compared to what we could offer him a couple years from now. Look, all I'm saying is I think we should wait until we're ready. You're really serious? What's the point of discussing this now? We don't even know for sure if I am pregnant. Where's the pregnancy test? It's right there. Donna. What if you are pregnant? What then? Cutting room? What? I'm trying to find a cutting room. Where is it? I believe all deliveries are to be made in the rear. For your information, I'm hardly a delivery boy. You could fool me. These uh, fabrics were flown in this morning. Old man Forrester, want to take a look at him. Old man Forrester? Do you know him? No. But I got to tell you, he's overrated. And overpriced. You think so? Cutting room, this way? 
If you're not a delivery boy, then just who are you? Who are you? I work here. Designer? Trying. Hmm. This one of yours? Not bad. Not bad? Yeah. You want my honest opinion. Do I have a choice? You need to take the waist in, heighten the bust line, narrow the skirt. You think so? Mm -hmm. Spring 88. They can't be too slim. You'd wear her well. The cutting room. Take the stairs down the hall to the first floor. You can't miss it. Uh, remember to tell Forrester, keep those skirts slim. Hate to see him behind the times again. I'll be sure to tell my father. I took a chance you'd be here. I hope you don't mind. Of course not. I'm, I'm, I'm just surprised. No more than I am to be here. I was on my way to the office, and I had the strongest impulse to see you. I guess I needed a pick-me-up. Nothing's wrong. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just got off to a rough start. It isn't all that unusual. But I'm not here to complain. How are you? Fine. We have a really busy day lined up, but uh, on the whole, everything is going along very well. I'm not in the way, am I? No, no, no. I, I got an early start. I just this need to be on top of things. Are you always this positive? I try. Well, I guess that's the difference between people. There are happened this morning? Nothing. Just an argument. I'm sorry. Don't be. Brought me here, didn't it? Well, I guess we have to thank God for small favors. Thank you, Beth. For what? For cheering up an otherwise gloomy day. daughter's quite a fox. Yes, she is. Now, uh, did you get something set up? We'll meet again. You can be sure of that. I hope so. I really would like you to move on this. Mrs. Forrester, don't worry. I've got everything under control. I've got to get the class.
Join us again for the bold and the beautiful.